Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand the exogeneity and the endogeneity in the regression equation. The simple linear regression model, OLS, is based on the assumption that the independent variables are exogenous. That is, the error terms in the linear regression model are uncorrelated or, the, or independent of the explanatory variables. Under the exogeneity assumption, the least square estimator, beta, is an unbiased and consistent estimator of the beta. Let us consider a typical regression model specification. yt is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1t plus beta 2 x2t plus beta 3 x3t plus the error term. Exogeneity means that each x variable does not depend on the dependent variable y. This x does not depend on the dependent variable y. Rather, y depends on x and on the error term. Since y depends on the error term, this means that the x are assumed to be independent of y. Hence, the error term. It is a standard assumption we make in regression analysis because if the independent variables are not independent of epsilon and y, then the estimated regression coefficients are not consistent if we use the OLS estimating equations. Explanatory variables that are not exogenous are called the endogenous variable. Therefore, if for whatever reason an explanatory variable xj is correlated with the model error term mu y, that is the covariance of xj, that is the independent variable and the error term is not equal to zero, then xj is said to be an endogenous explanatory variable and we say that the model suffers from the endogeneity. All OLS estimators will be biased and inconsistent in the presence of endogenous regressions. Now, which one is good, exogeneity or the endogeneity? Exogeneity is more desirable, endogeneity not desirable. In case of exogeneity, error terms not correlated with the independent variable. In case of endogeneity, error term correlates with the independent variable. The expected error term in the presence of x1 and x2 is equal to 0 cannot use x1 or x2 to predict mu, the error term. Here, the expected error term in the presence of x1 and x2 is not equal to 0. Exogeneity should be present, endogeneity should not be present. Now, how to address this issue? How to detect the presence of endogeneity? Let's see. Now, let us see. We want to see the endogeneity in the given equation, GDP, the dependent variable, export and money are the independent variable. So first, we will run the equation where independent variable export is considered as a dependent variable. That is export C money. Now, whatever the residual of this is there, we will store this residual. And now in the original equation, export will be, repla will be replaced by its residual. If the p-value of the residual is significant, we can say that the endogeneity is present in the variable. Again, the process is to be repeated considering money as a dependent variable, that is money C export. Now, how we will do this? Let's see in e-views. So, for example, I want to see the presence of endogeneity in this equation. I'm considering GDP, export, money, open as equation. I want to see is there the presence of endogeneity or not. So, what I do? remove GDP from here and now I will only run for export money and C. I will make the independent variable as a dependent variable. Click OK and I got the results. Now I will save the residual of this series. So for this I will go in proc make residual series and replace this resid with this is a residual of uh, export. So I'll replace it with resid export. Click OK. And you can see a new series has been formed that is resid export. This is the result. Now I will again go in the original equation, estimate. And here this export will be replaced by its residual. So now I will again write GDP. Now instead of export, I will be using its residual. So resid 
export and click OK. I got the results. Now here, as the p-value of resid export is less than 0 0.05, which is significant, it means that there is a presence of endogeneity in this equation. Now we will have to repeat this process for money also. So again, I will go in estimate and this time I will make money as a dependent variable, money export C, click OK. Now I will save the residual of this series also, make residual series. And this time I will name this as Reset Money. Click OK. So this is the residual of money. I will again go in estimate. And this time GDP dependent variable and money is replaced by Reset Money. Click OK. Here also you can see that the p-value of resid money is less than 0 0.05 which means that there is a presence of endogeneity in this equation. So for more videos on panel data regression using e-views, kindly refer to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression using e-views. Please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.